All right, here we are. We're playing Understand. Understand, uh, do we? I guess we'll find out. We're on world 10. We only have three worlds left to go, I think. Well, world zero, I suppose. Uh, and so immediately we see that there are nine dots and the little pictogram that describes what happens in this world. And they're colored. And the colors correspond to the colors of the nine worlds that we've played so far. So that's evocative. Uh, and so this is probably going to be the world where all the mechanics come together and we put we put together everything that we've learned so far um, into one happy set of puzzles. Okay, so triangle, square, circle. Okay, so what uh, I surmise is that these are the rules that are color coded to indicate that they are from the set of rules uh, that we've seen in the previous worlds. So world two is like a sort of grass green, dark green. And then world four is like a, like a chartreuse maybe. Uh, and do we see that world four is this color and world two is that color? So that kind of confirms. Okay, so what are the rules? <laughs> this, is, this is also partially contingent on me having any idea what the mechanics were in those levels. Uh, which I definitely don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so World 2 uh, was about <laughs> connecting shapes with lines. Uh, what, what would we say is the theme of World 2? Connecting shapes? Um, I don't remember any of these rules. Oh, guys, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, okay, wait, this is the one where you have to have like an equal number selected and unselected, right? It's about like grouping shapes. It's about like counting numbers of shapes. This one, uh, oh, this was the one where the path length has to be prime, maybe, uh, I think. Um, okay, so that, that's kind of nebulous. Unclear what exactly that one is, but I guess it's like counting, like Cubix is saying. Uh, and then World 4, okay, wh what the hell? World 4 was about symmetry, right? It was about leaving spaces that are symmetric with each other or about the like this stage in particular was that the white space has to be um divided into two sections one of which is like four times like a two by two version of the other one so this one i guess is about like negative space and symmetry i i totally don't remember what what the rule is here but okay um all right so <laughs> So there's shapes that we're connecting and there's something about the the white space or the symmetry. Uh, what do we have before? Triangle, square, circle. Uh, triangle, square, circle. Uh, that didn't work. Triangle, square, circle. Triangle, square, circle. Um, white space. What, this white space here is a rectangle. So let's try and make a rectangle. Uh, um, let's try and one of each shape and make a rectangle. There we go. Okay. Uh, one of each shape and make a rectangle. Make a rectangle. One of each shape. One of each shape. No. We'll fill it all in. That's a rectangle. Four was about shapes and forms. Very concise. Um, let's just do this. Okay. Uh, all the shapes and make... Can we make two rectangles? We can. Or maybe the shape that we fill in has to be a rectangle. Unclear. Uh, let's try this. Nope. Let's try... Oops. A little bit of this. Nope. Let's... I guess it, it was filled in before. Whenever we were... Star, triangle, circle... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. What if I select this region? Okay. All right. So I guess one of each uh, shape, no shape twice, and the selected space has to be a rectangle, maybe something like that. Um, unclear, but let's keep going. Okay, so we got new worlds here. What the butts was the rule in world one? Uh, world one was just connecting shapes <laughs> oh 
Um, unclear what the theme of World 1 was. Okay, I guess here you have to, you have to hit all of particular kinds of shapes. Uh, you have to fill in the entire space. Okay. All right, yeah, no, that's cool. And then World 3, what was World 3? World 3 was about, ah, uh, World 3, I guess, was mostly about the white space, right? It was about the subdividing the space into regions of, like, equal something. Generally? Yeah, okay, so white, white space, I guess, is more, uh, World 3 thing. World 5? Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I, I should probably write these down. World 5 was about counting, but a different kind of counting. It was about, like, local features being enumerated by pips, uh, which is a mouthful. But, like, in this case, w which was the one that I just selected? It was this one? Okay, I remember that it's the number of corners that are filled in needs to equal the number of pips. Uh, so here, four of the diagonal corners are filled in. Here, uh, two of the diagonal corners are filled in, etc. Right? That's the sort of... Here, it's the amount of white space that each of the pips uh, gets. Uh, okay, okay. So it's counting in that sense. All right. It's like counting around local identifiers of numbers. And then... Or of quantities, I should say. And then six... <sighs> What does that shape mean? What was six all about? Six one. What, what is six? Six was about symmetry. All of these paths are symmetric. Yeah, that's okay. Six was about symmetry then, wasn't it? There's some symmetry. Yeah, all these, the rotational symmetry, uh, axial symmetry, symmetry of the white spaces. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. All right, okay, so, all right, this is the solution. Uh, so maybe it's like counting the white space that we need. Um, so, like, how much does this work? It do. Okay, fantastic. Uh, six, so maybe a little bit of that. So, okay, three. Now, I could do uh, like that, and that works, easy clap. Now, Five. So this needs to have a white space of five. So far, we haven't really had to worry about anything other than giving each uh, tile or each cell with pips in it that number of white space, which is pretty easy. Uh, I just got to figure out how to do it for five. So that doesn't work. It fits all of the criterion. Uh... Except for six, and six was the world with symmetry, so clearly this space needs to have some sort of symmetry. It's hard to tell from rectangles, because rec rectangles have rotational symmetry, they have, like, reflection symmetry. I don't know, pick your favorite, what's your favorite symmetry, chat? Can I get some symmetries in the chat? How do you guys symmetry? How many symmetric shapes are there? Okay, so like a plus sign is like a symmetric shape. But I don't think it's like mathematically possible for me to fill in a plus sign and all of the other cells. Oh, okay. We got the little symmetry going. Uh, I can't do just like this shape because I can't cut across this shape to leave white space in this shape. So this is like a pentomino that works. It's like a five cells that are symmetric. And I think I can make that shape. A easy clap. Asymmetry. How very fucking dare you? <laughs> I should I should have expected chat chat are a bunch of iconoclasts. Okay, so I guess rotational symmetry <clears throat> is what we're looking for. And normally this means that you can combine combine the two regions into one super region. I'm thinking this has eight and we need seven so that doesn't work uh what shapes be symmetric um this plus no it doesn't work uh size seven i mean maybe they're not connected but i'd like to connect them 
Just cuz. Just because it feels good. I oh uh this is a well. <sighs> okay, wait, that one doesn't work out. I don't have to draw a penis. Because <laughs> I can't get around it then. Rotational 72 degree. Interesting. But why? Reflexive rotational translation. She protects, she rotat. She be a shop. I'm sorry I asked the chat. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you for your responses. What's a symmetric size 7 shape? I can do this. Uh... See, the problem is, like, I want to do something. Wait. I can't split the space into two. It doesn't work that way. Um. Ah. This shape with this guy included, th that cell included, that's seven, right? Can I make that shape? Unclear. I think I can make that shape. Maybe I can't make that shape. How would I, how would I make that shape? This is what I want, but uh, I haven't filled this in. Um, um. This is a promising shape. Maybe I can start somewhere else. That makes sense. What is a tangle? You're saying this as if it's a shape that exists. I mean, maybe it doesn't. I've never heard of it. One height tangles. It's cool kids call rectangles. Oh, like this? You mean like this? I don't know if that'll work, Narik. Kind of doubt. <sighs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's it's so simple. I just didn't want it to be this simple. I thought if this is really where we're at at this stage in our level of understanding, then this solution isn't even worth making. Um, I took a stance, and I stand by my stance. What the hell? Oh, it's got to be the same? That's not possible. For it to be the same... Okay, well, in any case, uh, here's what we can do. Maybe we end there, which means we start here? Did the thing. Yay. All right. What now? This is six. How can you make six when it's on the wall and has rotational symmetry? Yeah. Yeah. I guess we ought to make this squares like this. So like this. Nice. All right. Did the thing. Uh, seven. Right? So now we have to make a shape. Oh, it's kind of the same as the stage I was trying to do, but now I can't cheat with the rectangles. Uh, except I don't have to have the orthogonally... But it's impossible to... What? Well, how is it any different? This one's actually solvable. I believe you. But do I believe you? Seven. This shape works again. But it still doesn't work because there's no way to make it. Um... 
oh, I can offset that shape now, kind of like this. So I could do a little bit of, uh, da -da 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 -da. I failed. No, I can't. Can't make that shape. I want to have a little guy in here, but I can't do that, can I? Hold on, let me try. No, I'd have to end here. And if I did this. Yeah. That's how he's an extra. Okay, what if I pulled it down one? So I wanted to make this shape. That should be doable, right? Yeah, there we Okay. Did the thing. Yay. Alright, okay, great. What are we dealing with? 185. Okay, we should check what the butts is going on. In world eight. Uh, what does this signify? What does that shape mean? We got the white space is rectangles. Not anymore. Oh, here it was that the white space is like additions of the shapes that are shown in these. Uh, right. So here we have to add like a uh, horizontal length four, horizontal length three. Okay. So this one is about, how would you even define what this is? Also, what was this one? God, what's even happening here? <laughs> Dude. <sighs> let's let's pick this. No, I already did that one. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Here, okay, it's one of these shapes minus this shape. But I guess it's about... I guess, succinctly, it's about, like, the interactions of shapes? The interactions between shapes that are in the... That are in the cells? Okay, so here we've, like, added this shape and that shape. We also have to remember that 5, the rule was counting local rules kind of right so here we uh easy clap i wonder what the local rule is that we're counting let's just try to make this shape that worked uh let's try to do a little bit of this that didn't work let's try to do a little bit of this that didn't work let's try to do a little bit of this let's try to do a little bit of the rule, okay, so you have to create the shapes that you see the way that you did in World 8. Uh, and you also have to, I think that the counting rule is the number of adjacent. Let's see, how do we do this? Okay, I think that this rule is the number of adjacent diagonal uh diagonally adjacent cells has to that are shaded has to equal the number of pips in other words so there's a one here so precisely one of the diagonally adjacent cells has to be shaded um and this guy has to have two diagonally adjacent uh shells shaded uh so this works but then to get done what we need to get done Okay, this is the solution. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, hi, Cosmos. How have you been? Uh, busy with college and other life things. Hope everything's going well. Everything's going great. Thank you so much for asking. I hope that things have been going well for you. I was hanging out. You know, we're still streaming. We're still doing research by day. I'm glad that you could drop by to visit in any case. Well, don't worry about, you know, how frequently you can join us. But it's, uh, it's a pleasure when you can. Okay. Let's try a little bit of this, except 
Of course that doesn't work. Because three of the corners have to be shaded. How's that possible if I'm making this shape? Maybe it's not making this shape. Maybe I have to... Hold on. I've messed up. No. Okay, so the corner shading works here. But the corner shading doesn't... But I haven't created this shape, which is probably what I have to do, right? Like that. How do I accomplish this without shading in? One of the corners. Am I taking crazy pills? Oh, maybe it doesn't have to... There, there don't only have to be a single... Um... There doesn't have to be a single white space. So, like, if I do this, there doesn't have to be a single white space. Okay, we're still here. Hi, Eve. How's it going? We are still here. That's why we're here. Um, okay. So, we want to make a shape to... I did it. Fantastic. I've been sort of catching up on the YouTube. Nice, interesting stories I've heard. I'm happy to entertain. What's the rule set? The rule set, Eve, is all the rule sets. So here, these numbers and colors correspond to the previous worlds. Uh, and so this is kind of the world where we combine, we mix and match all the rules from all the other worlds. Um, okay. If I do this here... And I can't really capture... If I do this, and then this, that doesn't really work. If I do this... And then this... That sort of works? Aha! It do work! Okay. I, I didn't pay attention to the shading of the... Right, okay, that's fine. So, all of the... Ah, all of the corners have to be shaded. All of the diagonally adjacent cells to this guy and this guy need to be shaded. How can we do that? Can we translate this over one? Yes. No. If we translate it over one... Ah, we can translate it over one in the other direction. So if I try to do... It don't work. Well, I mean it can work. Hold on. If I do this, no, what do I need? Yeah, no, that's right. Okay. Yay, we did the thing. Okay, fantastic. We don't need to fill. I totally forgot that we don't need to fill. Whatever, it, it might've been necessary for that one. Okay, we gotta combine these shapes. We certainly do have to combine these shapes. What's a way we can combine these shapes? We can fill this guy in here. So, th wait, three of the adjacent corners need to be shaded. But we also don't need to fill. But we also need to get around this guy. So, we kind of need to fill. So, if we do like this shape here, and then this shape here, and then this shape here. That works. So, oh, but I need to, okay. How, how do I make that happen? I can't, because I have to end there and also end here. So this would be great if I could fill in this square, or if I could fill in this square, but not this square. But that's not possible for me to do. This shape doesn't work. Hmm. Not include shape plus make shapes plus that many diagonal adjacent cells filled. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So for this guy, I need this, 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 or this to not be filled in.
What if we did this? And then there's this guy that's not filled in for this guy and this guy. And then we could do this. And then we could do... What's the last shape? This? I think that works. Okay, let me just quickly remember what the hell I just did. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is this what I did? No. Of course it's not. That doesn't make any sense. Um... What's this guy isn't... Hold on. So there's this guy and this guy. And then I need... This guy, like this. Right? And that works. Is that something I can do? Maybe. Wait. Now what have I done? Ah, I skipped. That's not how this works at all. So, this guy here, and then this guy was here. Ah, so I had to get back in here, so that doesn't work. It doesn't work, because I can't fill in the little pocket here. What if... What if we free up this edge? What if we don't put anything here? How can we do that? We can start with a shape like this. Which satisfies the unmarked cell for these two guys. And then I could do this guy like this. And that leaves me a single shape, which is like this. Ah, that seems like it might be doable. I messed up, but not by much, right? Here's this guy, and this guy, and then this guy. Okay, so that's not too terrible. I messed up again. <laughs> what's wrong with me? Chat, what's happening to me? This guy was here. And then... This guy was here. Oh, this guy's got two. And also, I connected it wrong. So that shape doesn't work. So this shape would have to be here, and then here, and then boom, boom. And the only way to connect this would be here. Is that a shape we can make? Um, I did the thing. That took forever! Rotot! Thank you for your insight, Narik. <laughs> okay, if we have to combine these three guys to make one connected space, then we have to fill in... It's got to look something like this, right? Like, all three of these rows have to be filled in. But we have to figure out... Ah, yes, okay. Is that anything like Potot? Yes. It must be. How do we... Okay, so... We've, if we've got like a three... If we've got a three guy here... We need something to connect to these two. So, precisely one... This guy can have no diagonally adjacent unfilled cells. All of these cells have to be filled in. So, maybe this is a promising place to begin. Ah, uh, hold on. So, what if we do this? Then it's impossible to do the rest of it. I wanted to do this plus like a this type situation, but you just can't make those shapes. Unless, wait, can we double back to make those shapes? Like if I do a little bit of this and then, no, that's, that's not how it works. Or is it? What was I trying to do? 
this. This doesn't work. I need this to be filled in, but I can't fill in this. Wait, this is fine. As long as I... There's nothing wrong with this. As long as I start here, right? What did I do before? Wait, how did I... <laughs> what did I have just a second ago? This... Did the thing! Huzzah! Okay, alright. We did the thing. Alright. Uh, the game's called Understand Very Funnily. I don't understand lol. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think there's much... I don't think you're meant to understand at this juncture. I think it is unreasonable to ask someone to understand without the background of the rest of the game. Especially in the level where you connect everything that you've already learned in the game. Uh, so that's fine. Okay. Ah, World 7 and 9. Those were recent, so we should remember everything about them. Okay, 7 is the world where the direction matters. In the first stage, obviously, you just go in the direction of the arrows. That's clear. Uh, in some of these other ones, it's the direction, the cells that are being pointed to by the triangles need to be filled. Uh, okay, so that's about directions. World 9, on the other hand, we all remember was about... Stars? <laughs> uh... Connecting stars in ways. I guess maybe it was about paths, right? Like in this world, I think you couldn't like turn more than once between like two stars or something like that, maybe. Here. I guess there's a symmetry to the... Oh, this is the one where you could only turn... No, it's not. I don't really remember what's going on. That's fine. I guess it's about the paths. Yeah? Can we say that? So direction and path. It's about directions and paths. Uh, paths. Maybe. Nine is about turns slash elbows. Triangles look like diodes. They really do. Half of the games you play, I don't even understand. Well, that tells me I'm doing something right in terms of establishing a niche. Uh, no. What have we done here? Maybe you have to... That works, that works. Ah, maybe... So it seems like there can only be like a length three segment going through each triangle, you know what I'm saying? Like this is basically the basic unit that you have to build around. If you extended this path one unit to the left or right, uh, it wouldn't work. That is, that is what I am imagining is happening. How very fucking dare I? Oh, I broke the rule here. So I should start here. I broke the rule again. I broke the rule here this time. What's wrong with me? Is there any way I cannot break the rule? I have to start before the triangle and then end after the triangle for each triangle. But I can't do it a distance four away. Oh, it has to be, the path has to be symmetric. 
So if I start here, then I gotta go here. Like this, but that's still legal. Okay. The one thing I didn't try was like two before, two after. So for the straight line going through any triangle, it has to go from the side through the vertex and it has to have equal path length before and after. That be the rule, chat. Oops. There we go. Don't make me do this, man. That wasn't so bad. All right. That wasn't so bad. We did it. Uh, so the triangle bisects the line segment, if you like. If you like. Stage five. Okay. It's simple. We just do the thing, which in this case, I think that rule one is not going through any uh, of the pipped cells. And rule five, we're definitely counting something. What the hell are we counting? What, what's being counted here? What's two? What? I would have said orthogonally adjacent cells. But obviously that doesn't work. Maybe it's like the number of... No, because then this would work. What? Okay, let's move on. Following the dotted line has never failed yet. Well, yeah, it's the first level of every stage is always like that, but... That fails. Okay, so leaving one of these to itself seems to fail. Other than that, though, I could do almost anything. Want to buy information, please. Well, we've got information. <sighs> Chad, I'm so confused. I'm definitely just guessing. And there's only the one rule to figure out. It's just like, okay, figure figure out what's going on here. There isn't, we can't really split it up into parts. Do zero five four and you'll get it. Here, these twos are separated by distance one. Here, they're also separated by distance one. And here they're represented. I mean, this is evocative. That one's less clear, maybe. Okay, this one will probably be this. This one, I don't quite understand. Ah, uh, maybe... Ah, wait, this connection is already working, so maybe... What is this, five? Okay, so I mean, judging by, for example, this level, it feels like I need to separate. Okay. What did I try earlier? Didn't I try this earlier? I guess I tried this, but they need to not be in a different white space. Well, it's still, okay. The path length connecting them is still like one minus the number of pips, right? So like here, there are three dots. So, or okay, this is the most elegant way to put it. So you have to be able to get from one to the other cell that has the same number of pips in that many steps. So here it's one step, two steps, three steps. Here it's one, two, three steps. Here it's one, two, three, four, five steps. Okay, so it's like path length connection. Uh, now the five, I wonder how it, like, is this allowed? No. I, I don't know how different numbers interact. Five, three, four, 
three. So far, oh, I guess they need to not be in different white spaces. Okay. Ah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three. I see. And here it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Here it's one, two, three, one, two. I see. Okay, it's one, two. Right, 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 right. Okay. Path, the number of steps to the next set of pips has to be the number of pips on that cell. So here it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I need to build a maze basically such that this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. That's just an example though. That doesn't necessarily have to be the solution to the problem straight up. Balls. One, two, three. Oh yeah, it doesn't have to go up. So this this didn't make sense what I did. But if I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would work. I would just have to start here and it doesn't work because I'd have to end here and it's not possible for me to start here. So I just need to do this a way that's less dumb. What if I did one, two, one, two, three, four. I guess that wouldn't work. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that this was the path. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But of course, that's not, it'll always choose the shortest path, so that's not even an option. So it has to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for example. If I build this in, one, two, three, four. Ah, if I force this guy to be connected only to the middle, then the fewest number of steps that it can get to another pipped square from there is four again. So if as long as I do this, I win. As long as the other ones, you know, are the right condition or whatever. I did the thing! Yay! Okay, there's a prettier way to draw this, but who cares? All right, okay, we reasoned our way through. <sighs> that feels good. All right, where are we at? Six, okay. Halfway through this world. Ooh, hello. One, three, eight. Three is the white space. Eight is the shapes, right? Like the... Shapes on the pips? That's eight, right? Yeah, yeah. Aha. Aha. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, definitely, yep. What? So, I guess the white space that this guy finds himself in is in some way related to the, like, the shape that I'm seeing here. So, for example, this white space is, like, double this guy, maybe, but... What shape do I have to create? What shape do I have to put this guy into such that the white space is like the correct, has the correct relationship to this pip? You know what I mean? This game is called Understand, Not Remember. I know! That, dude, my memory is always... I don't know if I've ever shared this on stream. Probably not because it's not that interesting. 
Uh, but when I did, if you go, at least in the States, um, okay, I should start with, I've got ADHD, uh, and it has been at various points in my life, like, it's been very, uh, it's really defined kind of the way that, like, I live my life, uh, for better or worse, it's just very operant, and I, like, my life before and after being, like, professionally diagnosed and medicated for ADHD is, it's, like, night and day. Uh, so ADHD meds in many ways like turned my life around but before you can get diagnosed and medicated for ADHD you have to get tested for it and the way that they, they do it which is inherently just so so cruel is there's like an eight hour test that they do where you basically start and they give you like a trillion different kinds of uh they're kind of like, I mean, they're, they're like measures of your cognitive ability in various ways. Uh, and so there'll be like, um, memory puzzles or you'll have to come up with, uh, there'll be like physical memory and verbal memory, or you'll have to come up with like identifying like a pattern in some way. And you'll have to answer like a personal behavioral questionnaire and you'll have to like, there's just a tons of shit that they do. And it costs a lot of money and it takes eight hours which is just the worst uh and at the end of the day they you know like they they grade you and they're basically like okay well this is like what our findings point to and in my case they're like all right so uh well okay i mean this is this is gonna sound like uh i'm trying to flex but i i promise i'm not they're like okay so like in basically all of the categories you were at like the above average to like exceptional level of you know like mental capacity or whatever and i was like okay that's kind of cool and then they were like except for in the memory category specifically the short-term memory category you're in like the significantly below average to like mildly clinically impaired <laughs> like region of like scores <laughs> uh and that kind of is what helped them like diagnose me with adhd because it's like the my brain is bad at like packaging information that it just receives uh in like the short term i get sort of overwhelmed and it's like all over the place but then in the long term, for example, there's like one test that they do where they tell you a story. They're like, okay, Susan Perkins woke up at 3.45 a.m. in her Toronto apartment and put on her pink slippers and they like tell you that, you know, it's like a big story. And then they're like, okay, I just related a story to you. Tell me back the story. So you have to be like, okay, uh, Sarah Jenkins woke up in her Quebec apartment and put on her red flip-flops at like 386 uh, PT, you know, and you have to like do your best to like recall it. And then they write down how much of it you accurately like recited back. And then like four hours later or something like that, after they've done a bunch of other tests and stuff, they're like, okay, uh, so four hours ago, we told you a story and, uh, you know, there were like X number of facts in it. Uh, recite that story again now that it's been like four hours. And I was like, oh God, okay. Susan Perkins, you know, woke up at, in her Toronto apartment at like 3.45 a.m., put on her pink slippers, whatever. That sounds impossible to remember. That's kind of the point. And so on the first go around, like immediately after hearing the story, I got like 13 out of 50 details in the story correct or something like that. At the four hour mark, like after, you know, having heard it like four hours ago, I got 48 out of 50 of the details correct. So like, it's not, my brain just like works differently. And so they're like, yeah, no, this basically, they used that to determine, they were like, okay, we don't think you're smurfing because it's clear that you were like trying hard, <laughs> you know, like, but the way that all of this makes sense with like the short term and the long term memory and like everything else, 
uh, like ADHD makes a lot of sense, especially given like your behavioral history uh, and you know, everything else. Uh, but I thought that was really interesting. Anyway, all that to say, uh, I don't remember stuff too good. Uh, and I guess the second part of my story kind of mitigated that fact. I should have stopped when I told you guys I was mildly impaired. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, what the fuck were we doing? <laughs> anyway, I hope that was a story worth listening to. Um, hope you feel that way, chat. Now we gotta find out. There are only so many ways that we can divide these two sections of the, you know? Maybe I don't have to do that. But it appears as though that's the only way. Okay. <laughs> I need to divide the stars up. That much is clear. Or whatever these are, I guess. You know. Whatever. 16 gons. Um... But it's unclear what the pips are on about. What are these pips on about? They can be on the same side. Ah, okay. The blank space that doesn't inc like the of the unshaded region in which a pip cell is found. Um there needs to be this shape in completely blank cells, if that makes sense. So like here in this unshaded region, there needs to be a this shape, which is a single cell and a this shape, which is a these cells. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I think that's what's up. I think that's what's up. I guess a way to test that. Well, okay. I think that's what's going on. And I have to separate these guys into groups of two, almost. I did the thing. Huzzah. Uh, okay. Confirmed as far as I'm concerned. Uh, get wrecked. There we go. There we go. Easy clap. Why does it? It's so much more complicated to do the previous ones than to do these. Like, now that I know the rule, I guess maybe... They didn't think you were supposed to get the rule that, I mean, I hesitate to say quickly. There's a one big space here. This should do it. Okay. There's the two, there's the two, the one and the one. Okay. All right, so these, I can't separate these two guys. They gotta be in the same space. Gotta figure out this whole white space configuration. So maybe a little bit of this here, but then this shape is difficult to, so let's say this here and then this here, and then the rest of it should be relatively easy to, but I can't separate the shape. Oh, but I just can't separate. No, that's fine. No, that's not fine. Okay. I can't have this guy on his own. If I were to trace out... Oh, it has to be white space that doesn't include the shape itself. I'm such a dingus. Okay, so let's... Let's be more... Let's be more connective. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, but if they're all... Uh-huh. Ah, if we do like a T here, and then this guy here, then we could just do this. I did the thing. The suns are suddenly Taiji diamonds. Uh, yes. What's going on here? So this, and then we just need to fit this shape in, which is easy clap. 
Uh, and then we do the same thing here, but now we can't do exactly the same thing here, except that we can. Do I need to fill in the entirety of the... Oh, this guy and this guy, I'm double dipping here, which is not allowed. This was the obvious way to do it, but maybe it don't work so good. So you need to connect... ...here, but... Okay, so this needs to be filled. I need to be able to change directions here anyway, so this guy... This guy, I mean, that works, right? No! I did the thing. Yay! We got there, chat. Okay. Alright. Uh, this is great. What's going on? What the fuck is this? Okay, so we got a bunch of ones. Okay, so I'm guessing these three off rip, calling my shot. Uh, start at circle, end at square, don't go through triangle. Now, what in God's fuck is going on with this? Two and nine? This world 29? Yes. So, I mean, we're mixing and matching. So, we're worried about, like, what was that one? Like, numbers of shapes and paths? That's so abstract. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to intuit what's going on here as we, yep. Yep. Nope. Yep. Uh, something about shapes and paths. Something about shapes and paths. Thought maybe there might be like a directionality to the, like the path needs to go above the triangles or something like that. That don't work. Is it about the... It must be about the paths, but... What... What does it mean? Yeah, I have to start at the... This path fits the rule. But I need to start on a circle. Um... Okay, if I need to start at the... Is this really something I didn't try immediately? Okay. Chat, what does it mean? <laughs> Maybe there has to be one turn in the path for every triangle on the screen. So like one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three. I gotta figure it out, chat. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Sir, how very dare you? One, two, three, four. What's wrong with me? One, two, three, four, five. I did the thing! Aha! Okay, cool. Zero eight. Oh, jeez. Okay, world four was what? It was about the negative space? 
Yeah, here the negative space had to add up to a square. Okay, world four is kind of about negative space, I guess. Um, roughly speaking. And world five is about um, counting. It's about like local uh, rules that have to obey something based on the number of pips here. So this could have to do with... Dog, I don't even know. Ah, this works. Any tetromino appears to work? That tetromino didn't work. That's weird. Maybe two of the adjacent. I just made the same shape, but length three instead. You know? Uh, what about like this? That don't work. All right, fine. So, okay, rule one, I'm pretty sure is just going through the thing with the pips. And then there are these crazy... I don't even know what's going on. Okay. I've satisfied one of the conditions. But not this one. Okay, basically I made the same shape again, but I guess if I do it this way, okay. I made this same shape again, but with length four instead. Well, my strategy no longer works. Not the way that I've done it at least. What if I did like this situation? Okay, I've just, this time I did this again, but instead of like area two, I made an area six zone. I'm still not sure that I understand what the rule is. Now there are two sets of pips. I gotta go through them. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Nope. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on, chat. I, uh... Maybe it has to be, like, two of the same area of the same... Doesn't make sense. Well... Two zone... It's made up of two of the same size rectangle of volume equal to the number of pips? Dude. How'd I fuck that one up? Time to bust out full office suite. No. Office suite doesn't even include paint. When I fill it all in, it probably always gives me... How dare you exclude paint as a part of Office? Wait, you can buy Office Suite and it doesn't include paint. 
That's all I'm saying, dog. I meant to do this. In all of these cases, no, it's a multiple, dude. Probably needs to be size six anyway, right? Rule four breaks when I've selected a rectangle. Is that the only time it breaks? World four breaks when I've selected a rectangle. Sorry, rule four. I guess, maybe. And none of these are rectangles, that's for sure. That's the only way that I can see. So maybe rule four is don't select a rectangle. figure out what this middle rule is for the life of me uh well okay what if i select a okay what i tried to do was to not select a rectangle and to fill in two times the number of the pips on the board <laughs> but that's so arbitrary World 4 is form. So I'm combining shapes of this length, but what does that what does that mean? What does it mean, chat? Let me try and select 10. What does that look like? That looks like this. Well, four is not select rec rule four is not select rect because rect is the easiest way to satisfy four or five. Ah, so you're saying that they needed to make a rule that precludes rectangles because otherwise four or five would be too easy. Dude, if you're lost, I'm lost. That makes us both lost. I don't know what the rules are. Uh, I've made the shape simultaneously out of shapes of size two and of shapes of size three. It's not rectangles that you're combining. What is it, just shapes? Like an identical shape of size three, like an L piece here can make this and also like a one by two piece can make this. S is that what is going for? So 
So like here, but we can't do rectangles, right? That's fine. Uh, I think yes. Man, that's so abstract. Okay, so I need to come up with a shape. Probably need four of them. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ah, it don't work. So basically, the number of shaded cells has to be a multiple of both three and four. The smallest such shape would obviously be size 12, which is what I'm trying to do here. Same line without the last four squares works, maybe? I thought I tried that already! Of course it works! I saw that it... Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, so this has to have at least 20 squares in it. And considering there are only 36. And it can't have 40. It must have 20. What's a nice symmetric way we can make 20? This is, this is 10, this is 20. So let's just asymmetrize it real quick. So like, okay, so this is 20. So let's just pick a little bit, let's just do like, what if we did like a little bit of, ah, uh, we can't do that. Doesn't work. Because of reasons. What if I did this? I think Narik just spoiled the solution. Which is fucked up. Yeah, his solution does work. I mean, thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if, if we do this, it works. Because the four shape that f fills it in is this five times, and then this shape four times, like that. Like, there's one, and then there's two, and then there's three, and then there's four. So it works. Just spoiled. Whoops. Yeah. All right. Have no fear. There's another level. Okay. Five and three. Somehow I feel like this one's going to be easier. Let's see. 15. Oh, but I guess it's harder to... Okay. Three. It's easier to put together three tetrominoes. What a subtle hint that was. <laughs> I guess. Let's try this again, maybe. Boom. Boom. That's two. And then boom. Did I do that right? Yeah, that's 15. I guess I can't make... It has to be more symmetric. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, what? This work. There's like one of these. Okay, so one, two, three. Oh, this guy is the wrong chirality with respect to this guy and this guy. So I should, I don't know if I can make it while preserving chirality though. I guess probably not.
Well, hold on. Yeah, I can't do it. Balls. What even are rules? Well, maybe I can do it. I, okay. Chirality preservation. Success. Okay. So, four and seven. So, we gotta fill 28 of these squares. Which is all but eight of them. What is a shape that we can make that fills in all but eight of the board? What? Dude, the logic for this level is so difficult that it lags when I submit a solution. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> Are you serious that this doesn't work? I'm so proud of myself. Oh, well, this kind of works, but also it doesn't work. And why doesn't it work? This and this. This shape is two heptominoes. Boom and boom. Oh, I guess two of this heptomino. Yeah, so I've messed up. I need... Yeah, I didn't rotate this shape the right way. Um, okay, so if I replicate this twice, maybe I'll be good. Just do this two times, basically. Okay, well, let's do it once, and then we'll probably be fine. And now... The way that I've done this, I can only go back. Or maybe that's the only way I can do it. All right, hold on. Let me try replicating exactly this shape again. Oh, I can't. Oops. Was not worth the hours of toil <laughs> uh, but we certainly got there <laughs> that's what you were calling an N now I get it like you want to rotate it or to the camera I guess this way so that it's like kind of an N but not that's not how sure it's, it's an N Okay, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that one sucked. That was possibly the worst stage in the entire game, but that's fine. Okay, what does seven do? Three is like separating things, right? Uh, kind of. And seven is directional stuff. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe I can only make right turns. So far, the space in front of each, um, 
triangle has been unoccupied? Like the space that is being pointed to by the triangle? Maybe. So let's try to make right turns, right turns, right turns. So I've only made right turns. This one has definitely hit all the triangles. One of them might be only make right turns, question mark. One of them is probably keep the space in front of the triangles clear. I think this one is keep the space in front of the triangles clear. Uh, maybe? Um, unclear. But okay. I've only entered and exited from the sides of triangles. Not positive how that's possible here. This might be something about the white space. Unclear. Coming out of this guy is a good thing. Okay, forget about the turns. Maybe forget about the turns. I mean, I've certainly made a right and a left turn here. I've gone downward? No. Well, okay, there's been a... No, it immediately breaks here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this one feels like it's going to be really annoying if I don't know what the rule is. What's the difference? Ah, the outsides here are down instead of up. I'm going to try the same solution. And see if it works. It don't. Ah, ah okay. Okay. But why, though? Uh, maybe it's like an equal number of triangles facing all of the blank spaces, you know? Like here, each triangle is facing the blank space, like a blank space. Here, two triangles are facing each blank space, but here all the triangles are facing each blank space. So if I do like the backwards now, like so, it work. Okay. That's something. This one's not symmetric. What an asshole. That's fine, because we can just do this. Okay. Didn't quite work, but it's not necessarily super clear why. Oh, pointing out and into every region. <clears throat> oh, I hadn't considered it that way. Um, I only considered pointing into, but I, I understand what you're saying. So that wasn't my theory. But, if what I need to do is make the triangles point, so like, okay, let's get a region here. So this region needs to be pointed out of, which means that this is something that I can do. Ah, uh, hey Fredward, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> I was extremely confused by Cubix's rhetoric uh, because he told me that there was nothing wrong with a theory that I never had. But we got there. Okay, an equal number of 
triangles pointing into and out of every region. Ooh, this one's tricksy with an odd number. What if I just do three regions? Is that possible? Oh, but they, no, because these regions have to be connected. Oh, that sucks. Uh, the theory was sound. Feels okay, man. Okay, immediately. Here, let's just start a region. So wait, can we do... Oh, it needs to be divided into... So, there's one pointing into and out of this region. Or sorry, there's one pointing into this region, so there needs to be one pointing out of that region. There's one pointing out of that region, so there needs to be one pointing into that region. Like that. And then, there's one pointing... Oops. Pointing into here. One pointing into this region, so there needs to be one pointing out of that region. Ah, hold on. That's fine. And then there's one pointing out of that region, and there needs to be one pointing... I did the thing! Yay! What's up with the numbers in the rules? That references the level, uh earlier in or the stage earlier in the game where that mechanic came from Turkish army defeats Austrians in 1737 colorized okay ooh symmetry let's symmetry how do how do make the symmetry okay so let's start here let's make a little region so something's pointing something's pointing into this region Something's got to be pointing out of this region now. How do we do that? We do that with like a little bit of this. So now something's pointing out of that region and into this region. And now something is pointing into this region. So something has to point out of this region. In which case, maybe let's step back a little and do a little bit of this. Okay. And then go over here. We're pointing into this region now, so something's got to be pointing out of this region. And now something is pointing out of this region. Now something's pointing into this region. God, uh, this is definitely not symmetric. There's going to be a nice way to symmetrize this eventually, though. There's something pointing into this region now. I mean, we can seal this region, right? There's something pointing into it and something pointing out of it. There's something pointing into this region, so there needs to be something pointing out of that region. As we can't really seal it yet. So, into this region, and we need something pointing out of this region. So, we can do... Uh, out of this region and into this region. Yay! Ooh. This looks kind of sus. I'm not going to bother figuring out how to make it symmetric. <laughs> okay. Are we done? No, there's 10 before we get to question mark. Okay, okay. All right, one and one. So this would probably start at circle, end at square. Uh, now, 9 is the one that deals with paths, kind of, and 6 is the level that deals with symmetry, sort of. So, maybe we're looking for some sort of symmetry in our path. Um, ah, yes. Or the white space has to be symmetric, or there needs to be...
That works. This doesn't work, really. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, it seems to work when I leave. Never mind. Does it work any way I would have filled this in? No. So it is a certain kind of symmetry about the path. But this path is so asymmetric. This is the one that's throwing me off. Let's look at the individual points where the turns happen. Ah, the points where the turns happen, and it doesn't matter the length of the... Ah, I see what you're saying. Imagine turns having a location. Well, if you have a starting point, then you... Like, the location is completely implicit to the... To the... Describing, like, how long they are and which direction they go. But the symmetry doesn't have to be like with respect to the starting and ending points, which is what I was hyper focused on. The symmetry can be with respect to the level itself. So I see. I see now how I was tunnel visioning. Uh, okay, so the location of where the turns happen in the level have to be symmetric. Right. So turns happen here and here, turns happen here, here, and here, here. So there's like a rotational symmetry to them, I guess? Maybe? Hold on. Yeah, this is mirrored symmetry, which doesn't work. This is rotational symmetry. I guess? Yeah, because the only places that turns don't happen are like here and here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand now. So turns have to happen somewhere with symmetry. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Turns must symmetry, mustn't they? There needs to be a turn here. I turn here and here, so that doesn't make sense. Come on! There's one turn and it's in the middle! I guess it's not rotationally symmetric. A turn can't happen here. Because you can't get to the spot and turn. Well, I guess it could. Like if we do boom, boom. And then somehow more turns happen and then we get like boom boom but then I have to symmetrize the rest of the turns that I took to get here and how is that possible can't really do corners I have to start here which means I have to and then a turn can't happen there so if a turn's happen- oh, also a turn can't happen here because a turn can't happen here. So that's definitely not something that can happen. So I'd have to go straight here. Up here. Boom. Does that work if I do like this? I did the thing! Okay. I am mortified. But I need to finish this world. <laughs> so... 
Here we fucking go. <laughs> This is the, the big question mark level where we add together all, is it like each level of course? All of the rules in order. Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, that, this is a path. So, okay, one is, so we need to start here and end here, I guess. Oh, but specifically we need to do this. Wait, what? Oh, I guess we need to avoid. It's like the only way that works. Okay, sure. Why not? And now we need to figure out what the hell is going on. Okay. This is like the only way. Okay, you know what? Fine. That's okay. All right. World, world one is just the basic rules. It's like start somewhere, end somewhere. Uh, don't hit some square, right? Now, what was world two? Maybe that tells us that there's a, I don't know. What was world two? It was kind of counting shapes-ish? Bro, there's, there's so little information. There's like nothing to work off of. How is there no... Like I can't even deviate a little bit? I can't even cut this corner? Cause then I'm avoiding the right... I guess I might not be hitting the right stuff. I mean... This is messed up, man. One thing I can say, close the level and open your eyes. It's based on the board? Unbelievable. You start at the symbol and you end at the question mark. Not going in order, by the way. So here we start at this level. I don't know how, because the whole space isn't big enough to do, you know. But now open the level and close your eyes. Very good. Okay, so we need like a... Uh, I guess like a... Uh, Remember what I said earlier about my short-term memory? Boom, boom, boom. How do I do this? So I need to go here because otherwise there's no way I can get to there, right? So boom, boom, boom. Maybe you can start anywhere as long as you draw the shape. So like if I start at 2, 1, then... Oh yeah, because I don't have to go in order. I just established this. <laughs> right. So we can just do... Even then, I've messed up. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, boom. No. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Damn it. I need a screenshot of this. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, no, I have to... <laughs> Chat, what's wrong with me? All right. I have zero visual memory. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. <sighs> do, do, do. Uh, do, 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 do. Nice. Okay. And then four, we have, uh, Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Five. We have... Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Six. We have... Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Seven. I was one from the very start. I was wondering how the fuck this was ever going to be operant in any way. Oops, messed that one up. 
That's the right number of levels. It's 12. Uh, memory mastery. Yeah, definitely what happened, and I didn't grab my phone and take a picture of the start screen. <laughs> uh, I'm simply a master of memory. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Easy clap. Being a physicist does that to someone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just grab a little bit of this. Photographic memory. That's me. You know it. Uh, and then this one just be like that. Achievement unlocked. Easy clap. I, I have been calculating the whole time that there's a bonus level that's not included in any of the worlds. Now, we haven't done minus and blank. And we will do those things next week. Um, this is where we're going to leave it. This is going to remain a mystery.